What's up guys, so I've just installed the RAS BMC update and I'm just going to do a quick review on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on with my little remote here. So it's turning on and while it's turning on I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. They've updated loads of stuff, you can check out the change log in uh, raspmc.com. Um, you do have to re-image your SD card if you want to install this update and if you want to install to USB don't forget to tick the little box. The reason for that is because they've changed a lot of stuff like kernel stuff. So they couldn't just do it on a normal update, so you will have to re-download the image and flash everything again. Doesn't take that long. I have plugged in my hard drive and I've already set it up and I've done all my overclock settings. And I've uh, already inputted my library. So here we go. Let's, you can see the sec is connected, so is my network. If I go ahead and go to settings here while it's still loading, it's, it's pretty good actually. Um, as it settles down, at the moment it's, there you go, it's 42 frames at 1080p, it will relax and settle down about 46, 47. Um, I have actually, if I show you the RASP BMC settings, I've removed the res limit because it was too blurry and you can toggle that here, remove res limit. Um, otherwise it stays at 720p and it's a bit blurry so I removed that and now it is running at full 1080p as you can see there. Um, system profile, I've got it set to super because I'm on a USB stick it shouldn't corrupt so I haven't had it ever corrupt on a USB stick so if you want to do that make sure you're on a USB stick. Um, yeah everything's really sharp like I said I've done my movies already, my TV shows. If I go ahead and hit up into these um, pretty quick actually, the new kernel I think is making a difference, everything's really good. You can see uh, the images are nice and sharp, everything's very quick, no blur on the images and it's really nice to switch between stuff. If I go ahead and go to The Walking Dead and hit Season 1, you can see everything's already there, the pictures change pretty much instantaneously. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the first one, working comes up straight away in the bottom corner starts playing it is has chosen the right uh, thing it's 24 hertz at 1080p which is what this is meant to be nice smooth frame rates and you can actually stop it now that used to bum out a lot on my uh, LG TV so hopefully the sex fixed I haven't tested it enough to say it's definitely fixed but it used to die a lot I'm not sure if that's completely fixed. What I mostly kind of use uh, Raspberry MC for myself is NaviX, you know, streaming stuff. And the performance of NaviX on the last builds was kind of terrible. It made it pretty much unusable, actually. Um, menus were stupidly slow. It would take ages for timers to go down. It would, it was impossible to use. And I'm so glad to tell you that it's fixed. So if we go into NaviX here, I'm just going to show you just take note of the speed of the menus. I think that's the, the biggest thing here. So if I go here, you can see how quick it is. It's just absolutely flying through like it should be as person. You can uh, navigate the menus and play your stuff without the worry of it being stupid slow. And you can just see here the menus that I uh, turn. I can turn it off and it's all very quick. So thanks a lot for the developers at RaspMC. I'm loving this update. Um, it's made it a lot more usable for me. Can't wait for other stuff to be, you know, more, more performance improvements, just more stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you all later.